In the scientific literature, there are different proposed classifications to organize the set of elementary techniques that can be used for ontology matching. We'll focus here on the one proposed by uh, Esna and Zweiko, which is the one that can be seen in this figure. Actually, these authors propose two different classifications. The first one, based on the granularity level of the um, uh, matching system. Another one, based on the kind of input used by this matching system. What we can see in the medu medium of the figure is the, the set of basic techniques that these uh, two possible classifications try to organize. If we briefly go back to the first one, based on the granularity level, we see that there are two possible types of uh, elementary techniques, which is element level and structure level. The first type corresponds to techniques that uh, uses explore the, the elements of the ontology in isolation, and the second one, structure level, consider the ontology term in connection with the rest of the of the ontology. The, the second classification scheme um, organizes the, the techniques according to the type of input, and um, at the first level is divided in, in uh, terminological techniques, basically based on, on, the, on the expressions in natural language associated to the ontology. Also, the structural techniques that explore the structure of the ontology, extensional techniques that explore the instances associated uh, to the ontology, and finally, semantic techniques that consider uh, the semantic model of the ontology to infer and to detect alignments between the two ontologies. So let's now enumerate the main basic techniques um, that are used for the ontology matching systems. Um, let's start with the string-based techniques. The idea is to compare uh, text strings that are part of the information and the definition of the ontology entities, for instance, their labels or descriptions, in order to give an idea of uh, how similar they are. This is based on the intuition that uh, two strings, uh, more similar, uh, have more probability to, to denote the same concept. Just uh, as an example, let's see um, some of the mostly used uh, string-based techniques. One of them is the Levenstein distance, which uh, um, it's a number that reflects the number of additions uh, required to transform a string, a string into another. For instance, the distance between the book and books is, is one, according to this metric, and uh, this is because it is needed one addition, insertion of a character, to transform book into books. There are other techniques, uh, string-based techniques, um, extendedly used in ontology matching that consider the, the, the words, the, the strings, as, as a bag of words, um, in order to apply then certain techniques, certain metrics uh, borrowed from the information retrieval field, such as uh, TF, IDF, or cosine similarity, etc. But uh, in addition to these two examples, there are many others, such as uh, Hamming, Jarwinkler, uh, and many other distances and, and, and metrics that are used to that end of measuring the similarity between the strings in order to somehow infer uh, similarity between uh, the, con the ontology entities. The next, uh, the following type of, uh, of uh, basic technique is uh, language base, which uh, consider the text not as a string, but as a word or a set of words in a, a belonging to a language. So techniques from natural language processing can be applied uh, typically in order to pre-process pre the, the text uh, and to, to infer or to in order to help detect uh, equivalences or other relations. There are also other techniques that use external lexical resources such as lexicon, thesauri, um, in entry matching is, uh, th there's a resource, Gornet, which is extendedly used and uh, both fall in this category. 
There's also the constraint-based uh, type of techniques, which uses the restrictions of uh, ontology terms, such as imagine uh, cardinality, in order to, to, to compare uh, entities and to infer uh, relationships. Alignment reuse means the, the, the use of uh, um, previously computed alignment between ontologies in order to, to obtain new ones. Also, there are techniques that uh, might use um, as background knowledge and other ontologies, uh, either uh, upper level ontologies or domain specific ones. Uh, moving to the structure level set of techniques, one of them is uh, the idea of uh, applying data analytics uh, techniques and statistical techniques when the, there's enough uh, data in the ontology to do so in order to detect uh, regularities and patterns. There exists also a set of graph-based techniques that consider the ontology as a graph and compare the, the graphs in order to, to detect uh, structural similarities. The taxonomy-based type of techniques is a, is a particular class uh, or subclass of, of the graph-based techniques that uh, only consider the taxonomy structure in the graph. Then there's uh, other techniques like the repository of, stru of structures ones that uses um, already pre-computed similarities between ontologies or ontology fragments. And finally, model-based techniques, which uh, are those that uh, try to exploit the, the purely semantic um, features of the ontology and typically use reasoners, semantic reasoners, uh, to do so. Finally, it's important also for ontology matching uh, the evaluation of the, of the systems developed for ontology matching. It is worth mentioning the Ontology Element Evaluation Initiative as an initiative that periodically um, open uh, calls and for, for participation in order to compare different ontology matching systems and in order to detect the, the main strengths and weaknesses of, of such a systems uh, in certain contexts or applying certain techniques. This evaluation is periodic uh, and it started in 2004 and uh, one can find there uh, different tracks of uh, specialized domains such as bibliography domain, anatomy, biomedicine, uh, conference domain, etc. We have uh, quickly reviewed some of the elementary techniques that can be used to build an ontology matching system. Let's finish this lesson with uh, just a quick overview on some of the existing tools and frameworks that can be used uh, out of the box to use uh, to make ontology alignment. Let's just start with these two important frameworks. The Alignment API, which is a collection of classes and methods in Java to manipulate alignments and also Silk, which is uh, intended for alignment of instances uh, of classes or more at the, at the data level. Besides these frameworks, there, there already exist uh, many, many entry matching tools, such as the list that uh, I write uh, there, jointly with their uh, EM web address. So uh, if you want to take a closer look at them, just go to these addresses and, and uh, inspect them to see if they fit to their purposes, to your purposes. And of course, there are many other tools, such as the ones that uh, participate in the OEI campaigns uh, regularly. Mm -hmm.